the M16. It fires a three-round burst. The M16 was first developed by American company Armalite under the guidance of now-famed small arms designer Eugene Stoner. Known as the AR-15 when it was developed, the weapon wasn't known as the M16 until after Colt Firearms licensed the design for military production. The first rifle saw service in Vietnam in November 1963, with the experimental XM-16E1 models issued to troops in the field by the end of the year. First impressions were not good. A few reliability issues with both rifle and cartridge led to the M16 becoming universally disliked among soldiers. It wasn't until the standardization of the M16A1 model in 1969 that the issues were largely resolved. However, these original rifles were semi or fully automatic only. The burst fire trigger group wasn't seen in standard issue rifles until the M16A2. Standard magazine capacity is 30 rounds. Extended magazines have 50% more at 45. As with most modern Western assault rifles, the M16 fires the NATO Intermediate 5.56 by 45 mm cartridge. The M4A1 is in the assault rifle category and is fully automatic. The M4A1 is indeed an assault rifle, originating from the US. The M4 is a shorter barreled, more lightweight version of the M16. It was introduced in 1994, based directly on the M16A2 variant, and entered service in 1997. As with the M16 rifle, the M4 fires the intermediate NATO standard 5.56mm by 45mm cartridge. The M240 M240 is the US military designation for the Belgian-made FNMAG, or Mitrailleuse d'Appui Générale, referring to this weapon's role as a general-purpose machine gun. It was adopted by the US Army in 1977, used as a coaxial tank-mounted weapon. Since then, its role has been expanded to infantry usage. It fires the NATO standard rifle cartridge, the 7.62x51mm. No other light machine gun packs more firepower into such a portable package than the M249 squad automatic weapon. In simple terms, the reason this thing is such a beast is it fires 5.56 NATO at around 720 rounds a minute from a 200 round belt. Weight is relative, especially when you're carrying it, but at 22 pounds loaded, the M249 is comparatively light by machine gun standards. During the initial stages of the SAW program in the mid-1970s, the U.S. Army wanted to chamber the squad automatic weapon in a special 6mm cartridge. However, the U.S. Infantry's M16 was chambered in 5.56, so it made sense logistically to chamber the squad automatic weapon in that cartridge also. This weapon is simplicity itself. To their credit, the Belgian designers of the M249 took an already proven operating mechanism in the Kalashnikov and flipped it upside down. Here's how it works. It has to be upside down because the belt comes in from the top. In addition, this spring-loaded roller operates the feed tray cover. One of the great things about the M249 is just how adaptable it is. You can put on a collapsible buttstock or a short barrel. We all understand that talking about a machine gun at the bench is nowhere near as impressive as seeing it in action. Let's take this thing out and light her up. The saw uses a 200 round disintegrating link belt system. However, it has the option to swap out the belt and use a magazine. So if I'm in a situation where I put a lot of rounds downrange and I've run out of belted ammunition on my body, 
I have the option to lock the bolt to the rear, discard the empty box, and get an M16 magazine from one of my squad mates. Insert it into the weapon, and one of the unique features of the saw is now I can fire from a 30 round magazine and get the job done. This M249 squad automatic weapon is set up in the most common variant used around the world today by the United States military. The original M249 buttstock was a tubular metal unit, which was later replaced by this black plastic version, adapted from the M240. It features a hydraulic buffer, which reduces felt recoil. Several other improvements to the design include a carrying handle, which now folds. The original one was fixed a heat shield on top of the barrel that prevents end users from burning their hand, and a mill standard 1913, otherwise known as a Picatinny rail. The original did not have a rail of any kind. As with other weapon systems, when guys on the ground get a weapon like this, they start making recommendations on how to improve it. But customization is typically mission specific or simply based on the soldier's personal preferences. In the field, Every 10 to 12 man squad is directed to carry at least one saw. That means there's at least one man carrying a 249 as his personal weapon. The M249 is a very sturdy weapon. But however, like many weapons of its type, it has a stamped sheet metal receiver, which means it can only be rebuilt so many times before it has to be replaced. The US military has pushed this envelope and has thus fielded some weapons of marginal reliability. Even with these minor issues, if you take care of it, It'll take care of you. In engineering development is a grenade launcher which attaches to the standard M16 Army rifle. What makes this weapon more effective is a full line of special cartridges developed for it by the AMC Munitions Command. To complement the practice round and the standard high explosive round, our soldiers now have a shotgun round for use in heavy underbrush. There is also a smoke cartridge for marking and signaling. and two night illumination rounds, the White Star Cluster and the Parachute Flare. The M67 frag grenade turns from this into thousands of lethal pieces of white-hot shrapnel in 0.02 milliseconds. You'll be dead before you can blink.